which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. Would you all admit that? I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, didn't we? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo. It does appear that our monitor friend, well, he's a little bit confused to say the least but that's okay and we can see how useless this pistol is one shot from a charge burst will destroy a monitor in one hit also the charge does home in which is nice so we almost created a halo event again the gun pointed at the head of the universe of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. Hmm, interesting. Well, the flood. I search what's left of the Covenant battle net to see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, Excellent. And the Flood have been trying to repair her, so 
you know. Anyway. Sometimes wonder whether the Dida could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I know the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed, except perhaps by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The council saw to that. But if something were to go wrong with one of the chaos, if our tools were ever turned against us, not that. Hmm, interesting. These terminals are really good because they do fill in a lot of backstory. Um, the original Halo CE, uh, when it first dropped, was very light on story. I mean, it had enough to just get you through, um, you know, for the game purpose. But it's nice that you're seeing a lot more <laughs> added in. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying these terminals. So, yes... There was supposed to be 12 rings originally, but, well, stuff happened in the past. Lots of stuff. Anyway, let's go and murder our way back through this level. And see if we can't find our way back to the Pillar of Autumn, which is our primary objective right now. Oh, look, we have Covenant. Covenant, Sentinels, Flood, the gang's all here. And it is a rather... Oh, dear. This is uh, questionable at best. It's actually nice to fight uh, Covenant again. Because it's fair to say, fighting... The Flood and fighting the Covenant do feel very different. And that's one thing they got right. Those magical bastards. And of course, we're iced straight away. Alright, let's try that again. Once more feeling. This time, I think we're going to use more grenades. Lots more grenades. See if we can't at least suppress these guys there we go that's more like it unfortunately these guys turn their attention on us pretty soon oof nowhere to really hide from these needles bloody needles I'll pepper your buttocks with that That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <sighs> and relax. Okay. Anything worth harvesting? Probably the needler. Definitely rather have this than the uh, plasma pistol. But then I'd probably walk around with a log of dog shit in my hand and uh, use the plasma pistol, to be fair. Okay. 
we go take our pink spiky friend for a little little adventure. Oh, put up some fortifications here, I see. Very cute. Let's go hide behind the shield. Evening! How's it going? Have some grenades. Plenty of grenades for everybody. Unfortunately, we are up against pretty stiff resistance here. There is an elite somewhere. Oh, you sausage. You sausage with your grenade. It's got a nice bit of cover here. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> Pink mist, baby. Now, remember last time we was here, I said there's stuff up there. There should be. Well, that would be bad. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The I see. Are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, well, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. Hmm. By marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point, we need to move in and neutralize the device. See, we've got the sniper rifle here, uh, but the only trouble with it is we've only got eight rounds. That's not fantastic, but I suppose we do have a fully loaded shotgun to balance that out, I guess. Wakey, wakey. No. <laughs> Come to papa. Come to daddy. There you go. You don't like the shotgun, do you? Such a primitive by a standard weapon. But so, so effective. This shotgun is a peach. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're only holding 60 shells. Weren't we holding like 100 for it on the other level? A little bit interesting. Whoop. Come on. Take your medicine, sunshine. Oh, it looks like this place is getting worse. The snowstorm is certainly getting worse. Or at least there is a snowstorm now. Where there wasn't before. Or barely in the upgraded graphics. I believe that's because the flood oof, is trying to terraform the ring. Sit down. Anybody else? Whoop. Hot potato. <laughs> He didn't even try and get out of the way. Bless him. Uh oh. This is bad. We have elites. Now the good thing about the shotgun is the force of it alone is enough to knock those shields around. Ooh, this is questionable. Ooh, we got lucky there. Damn it. It's quite enough out of you. And there is another one here somewhere. Where are you hiding? You piece of shit. You've run off, haven't you? Banshee. So, ooh, and a wraith. Now, if we're quick, which we weren't, if we're quick, you can actually 
Oh, stop the pilot getting in there. Right, this is where things are going to get a little bit messy. That's fine, especially with the amount of health. But there is a health kit just up ahead, luckily. And a rocket launcher. So let's exhaust this. Oh. Golden Elite. Ah, oh, shit, we're out. Alright, that's fine. Thus ends the gun fun. Alright. This is fine. Now, it will, the Wraith will try to maneuver around the rockets. So you do have to kind of lead it if you can. That's two hits on the Wraith. Now we need to be a little bit careful here. The Wraith will also try and lead you, which you can use for your advantage. Or to your advantage. Oof. Come on. Ooh, another direct hit. She's burning. She's burning. You do want to kind of... Eh, she's done. Aim at the ground. Does make it slightly easier to tag. Swallow that. Oi! There we go. <laughs> right, let's go mop up what's left. Shouldn't be too much left out here. We've got ourselves a banshee, which we're going to make use of. Let's see if there's any goodies down here. I think there might be. No? Did the little cash get used up? It looks like it. Now this here was really cool on the original graphics. Like it looks fine now. Like this waterfall that's now frozen. But you used to be able to stand on this and you could fire your gun off and all the brass would run down. But what was really clever is it would follow the crevices in the ice. The physics were really clever. Which you do not get with the new graphics. Odd decision, but whatever. Anyway, let's go grab our Banshee and get out of here. In fact, we're going to fly back up there so we can grab the shotgun shells. And grab the pistol. Good stuff, Gortona. Seems like so far away <laughs> until you get this and then you just fly up here in like two seconds. Right, let's go get the pistol and yeah, pistol and shotgun shells. And then we'll be ready to get back into the action. Shooting Covenant scum. Definitely want as many shells as we can fit in our pocket. It's probably going to be the weapon that we're going to have for as long as humanly possible now. And, oh, yeah, then we get plenty of ammo as well. There we are. 12.7 millimeter rounds. Armor piercing. Pull tab. Probably don't want to fall from there, can we? Yeah, we can fall from there, though. And then we can drop down here. Excellent. Lovely. Wonderbar. So let's get up here. Now, I have tried in the past. Oh, you actually got the moon there. I have tried in the past to actually fly up and over and out of this canyon, but you can't. Eventually, uh, once you've got up high enough, you'll just die. Which is kind of weak source. But never mind. I guess it is what it is. Hello. One for you. 
Any more of your little friends inside? Any more? It's very quiet in here. So here. Alright. Well, that's not great. But there we go. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the sentinels are here to try and repair it already. Oh, there's a few of them, though, isn't there? Oh, they hurt. They really hurt. Ouch. I mean, technically, we don't have to kill these guys. But, at the same time, yeah, they're just going to do insane amounts of damage to us on this difficulty. Breaking stuff to look tough. Luckily, every time we uh, come out of one of these, there will be a fresh banshee to take. I guess that's just in case your one is too broken or maybe in case um, you crashed in a way where your banshee kind of rolled off. So the good thing about that is it stops this from being some kind of annoying unwinnable situation. Which is a good bit of thought by the developer. Now we have some new grunts. We have grunts with fuel rod cannons. That's a bad time. But that's okay. Because we can handle these guys. You can see that our ship is heavily, heavily, heavily damaged already. Yeah, uh, these, these things cannot take much punishment at all. They have next to no armor. Whoa. Let's go. Yeah, incredibly fragile ships. Hello. Come to Papa. My God, the shotgun. It's so good. It's so satisfying after being stuck with the assault rifle for so long. Oof. This weapon does not disappoint. At all. Like I said before, it does have, you know, a healthy range on it, too. Stick that up your pipe, mate. Any more? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. No running, kids. Ooh. Big bada boom. Alright, let's give our shield some time to come back. What a mess. Oh. We have a mixture. Ow. Ow. User death imminent. Yep. <laughs> Somehow uh, blew all the grenades up. That was suboptimal, to say the least. Right, let's go a little bit slower this time. Reach out and touch these guys. Especially if they're going to be using needlers against us. Which... We don't want, let's be honest. We can certainly handle this guy with liberal amounts of handgun bullets. That must be a heavy, heavy cartridge to be slamming into you. Probably give you a headache. Oh, we have floodies. We have floodies. 
course we do. Oh. Probably should have left them fight. I used to love doing that as a kid. I would let the uh, enemies fight it out. Used to be a good time. You're done. Nice. Got some good shit here. Lovely. Uh, um. Go on. We'll take the... Oh, rifle. Get a little bit too big for your boots, son. Oof. Oof. That was an elite. An elite elite. You're done. Yeah, so jackals always had those little shields to try and make up for their very fragile bodies. Jackals are incredibly weak. Compared to all of the races, they are one of the most fragile. So, uh, they use lots of shield tech and things like that. An interesting race, the jackals, actually. Oof, he is holding us down. He is really holding us down. That was some good suppression. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. More. Oh, shit. Why go after me, you fools? Oh, dear. Who let these assholes in? Can we not demo up all of the nades? <laughs> you fool! Okay, that'll, that'll do. Let's get out of here. Bloody infectious forms. Maggots. Still, not much to look at when you're scraping them off your boot. Alright, this bit could be a little bit hairy. You know, let's just let these guys fight it out for a little bit. We just sit back and enjoy this. Of course, I can have a sip of... Oh dear, they've spotted us. Of course they spotted us. Alright, let's warm these guys up with some plasma. Evening. You're done. Ooh. Oh, you have a... You've got a sword, I see. That's fine. I have a shotgun. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess you didn't even get to use your sword, did you? Because I... Sp uh, okay. They are assaulting us. They are boarding our bridge. That's cheeky. And that stupid Covenant retard decided to shoot me instead of the Flood. I mean, hey, up to him, I guess. Oof, we need some shield. We'll be... S Ooh, they're jumping over. At least I thought they were. Right, let's grab up as much equipment as we can. We'll be seeing those guys a little bit later. Ow. Enough of the Blamo crystals. Or Blamite. I must look that up. Is it Blamo? Blamite? Something like that. 